uh, New Jersey. Barbara Beeling reflects on her final hours out east when she realized she would soon be back home. That's when it hits you so hard is because you get to return to a sense of normal, but you don't forget what you see and what you've experienced. Beeling recalls the miles of shoreline that had become urban swamps. She remembers the frustration of struggling to get to people in need. What we were dealing with was you take a left where the boat is sitting on top of the house and you go what you think is about a mile and then you take a right where there's a giant building that has collapsed. With the damage so widespread, the Red Cross relied on social media more than ever, specifically Twitter. You could literally watch that information spread through social media. And on the flip side of that, someone could send in a message saying, hey, you know, this is a community that's, that's hard hit. You know, we need some additional help. Beeling says the Red Cross and its 114 workers who traveled from Wisconsin were covering a lot of ground when this week's nor'easter stalled much of that progress. Beeling says that's why the Red Cross is still asking for your help. Just a $10 donation um, can provide a hot meal and a blanket for someone staying in our shelters, or that allows us to get it out into the communities. AJ Bipor, Fox 6 News.